In 2019, my co-author Alex and I were collecting data on great white shark behavior for my master's thesis in Plettenberg Bay, South Africa. While flying the drone, we saw the fish swim up to and rub their bodies against the sharks, a behavior otherwise known as chafing. It wasn't until we returned to the U.S. and saw a social media post from the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy showing the same chafing behavior occurring between white sharks and bluefish off the New England coast that we realized our observations were not an isolated incident. So we reached out to their research team to learn more about this interesting behavioral interaction. And upon further investigation, we realized chafing between fish and sharks was much more common and widespread than expected. And thus the idea for the paper was born. We collaborated with researchers and compiled 47 incidents of chafing between eight shark and 12 fish species around the world, including one species, the silky shark, chafing against a whale shark, which you see here. We found virtually no scientific studies on why this behavior occurs and the ecological implications for it. So the purpose of our manuscript was to offer our hypotheses about why this behavior occurs and propose new areas for future research. We hypothesized that shark skin plays a significant role in parasite removal due to its rough sandpaper-like texture, which is unique to sharks and isn't found on land animals. Additionally, to our knowledge, no terrestrial analog exists for cross-species chafing behavior, let alone prey actively seeking out and rubbing up against a predator. What remains are two broader ecological questions. What impact does this behavior have on sharks and the chafing fish? And why is this phenomenon only found in aquatic environments and not terrestrial ones? We hope this paper sparks ideas for future studies so that we can better understand our marine and freshwater systems.